Hey, in this video, I am going to show you how to uh, import um, a the GDK glass timer sample into uh, ADT or Eclipse. Um, should be very similar between the two of them. Okay, so I just hit the thing, expanded all the views. Awesome. Uh, so I, I don't use Eclipse very often anymore. Um, I find it's uh, a lot easier just to use the um, IntelliJ Android Studio. But I mean, there are some, you know, kind of use whatever you're comfortable with, uh, definitely. Um, yeah, so this is the one we're going to pull in. OK, so. All right, so I guess I need to create a project first. So I want to create like a, just a Java project maybe. Let's try this. Um, okay, no, how about that? All right, now I'm gonna import. So I created a project first, and now I'm gonna try importing again from file system is probably not going to work again because uh, I really don't know how to do this. So you're just going to have to suffer through through this with me. Um, yeah, so it's like not finding the source, uh, which stinks. Um, okay, so let's try a little different. Let's say existing Android code into workspace. Try that. Okay. Uh, and it looks like it worked a little bit better. Copy into, you know, it's fine. Or maybe, maybe we could possibly do, nope, can't do that. All right, let's try this. Oh, wow, that ended up weird. Oh, share two projects. Wonderful. It's doing stuff that I didn't tell you. That's always helpful. Um, okay, so it just kind of gave it, all right, I, I get it. I'm going to rename this because it's, it's like, that's a bad name. Uh, so yeah, two. Apparently I did not need to do this one, so I'm going to blow this away, maybe. How about that? Yeah, there you go. All right. Um. Now, this is awesome. So what we need to do uh, to make this work, we're going to need to create a library directory, so libs. OK, and that is going to need to house the GDK library. So let's go find that. Um, it might be here. They might have given it to us. GDK tools and downloads. That would be a good bet, right? Tools and downloads. Um, client libraries. I'm betting this is it. Uh, nope. Darn. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, uh, let's try this first. So we'll go to their properties. So I'm right clicking properties, um, Android. It's not Google APIs. It is the preview, the GDK preview 19, right? That's that's what we want, correct? So let's try that. And change the, the SDK version. Ah, like magic. Um, that was pretty straightforward. We could probably do the same thing with tests. Again, I'm super lazy. I don't like running these things, but uh, it's good to, if you're not lazy like me. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna click Run and call it an Android application. Um, yeah, so it looks like uh, at this point, you know, it's wanting to to build an emulator. I'm not gonna let it do that, but um, yeah. so it's it's built. Like you don't get here if uh, if it fails. Um, so that's all we need to do. So. 
yeah, it was a little roundabout, but uh, it's in there. It, it worked eventually, right? Um, so uh, hopefully you were able to follow that. <laughs> All right.